my channel and today I have an awesome subject to talk about. History. It's one of my favorite um, subjects in my school and also it's really fun to talk about when you know a lot about it and you want to share with your friends. So as I was telling you before, my, my home country is India and I would like for you to know about my state where I live in India. It is called Tamil Nadu and it's really really awesome because I live here and I wanted to share some facts about Tamil Nadu and let you know the wonders of Tamil Nadu. So, um, well as you know in the name it says Tamil Nadu. So, I'm, you might be guessing the language spoken there is Tamil. Uh, so I'll tell you some words in Tamil. So say hi, like greetings in Tamil. It's like you keep your hands like this and say Vanakkam. That is greetings in Tamil. And if you wanted to say how are you in Tamil, you would say Yapari irkinga nanba. It's like how are you friends? And if you wanted to say, if you wanted to say, let's think of a phrase, where do you live in Tamil, you would say, in the bracelet. But I like add a little bit of English to make it easier for you. So anyways, that's a little bit of Tamil. So let's push that aside, but keep it in your brain. Might need it for future references. And let's get into my homemade essay. Well, I made the essay, so with a little help from my mom and dad because they know a lot about this place. So, technically, I was born here in Tamil Nadu, but after a little while, I had to move to America. So, let me tell you some things that I learned here. So, Tamil Nadu is the southernmost state of India. So, it's the south of India. You would say, where do you live? I live in the south, southern area, I would say. And there's the northern area. Most of the populated places are now north and south. But some people do intend to say, I live in the east side of India. I live in the west side of India. So, anyways, let's get into some of the bigger facts. So, you probably don't know, Tamil Nadu is the 11th largest state of Indian, in, of India in terms of area. And uh, the capital of Tamil Nadu is Chennai. Before they said the place was Chennai, it was also called Madras. And the climate in India is mostly hot. This is a highly monsoon dependent state and the monsoon seasons are from June to month June to September. The southwest monsoons. So since we're in the south, we need to remember these months. June to September are the south and west monsoon areas. So this place is like really dependent on monsoon, which is rain. They collect the rainwater. They filter it. There's a whole process before they drink the rainwater. And um, they use it for their, as you all already know, India is mostly for their beautiful flowers that you can put in your hair and um, you can keep in your house. You can keep it for some gods you believe in. Speaking of gods, there's some beliefs I would like you to know, but like necessarily you don't need to believe it. I, my family, believe in this. So here is a picture of one god. This is Krishna. He is a young boy who has blue skin. Everyone seems to say he was abnormal, but he had saved his village a lot of times. And now he is the god now for us. And he helps us when we are in need of help. This is Ganesha, made in leaf. Ganesha is so the best. He helped so many people in his village and now he's helping other people. 
we pray to these gods every day. And my personal fave, Sarasvati. She is the god of education. She helps little kids like me and yourself learn from small things. And here is one big picture. Murga. This is Murga. He is Ganesha's brother. He is really good. He has a pet and it's a peacock, the national bird of Tamil Nadu and India. And as you already know, Ganesha has a pet rat. Well, you don't know Ganesha has a pet rat. So why am I saying as you all know? Anyways, let me tell you that the October to December Northeast month. So the North and East have the October to December, but we don't really need those dates because they're the North side, you know, the North. So anyways, now I'm going to talk about the peak summer seasons. Uh, when the temperatures go as high as 43 Celsius in the Plains district. The monsoon seasons are are normally windy with odd rains. So like this is a really fun fact I really want you guys to know that um so that sometimes they the water rain drizzles then stops a uh, drizzles again then stops and then heavy raining starts. Usually in America um the rain usually goes from drizzling to heavy rain. But they, this place stops, heavy, stops, heavy, stops, drizzle, stops. So it's a weird fact I like for you to know. So also, let's talk about some a lot of people. Some a lot of people are known for the art and cultures. And speaking of arts and cultures, why don't I tell you about arts and cultures? Here's something I like for you to know. Fanatic music is fun to hear. Fanatic dance form is fun to watch. Folk music is fun to hear. Farming, fun. Farming is fun to do. Dance forms are fun to walk. They are colorful, vibrant, and energetic. They are colorful, vibrant, and energetic with inspiring thoughts and social and about social issues these art forms are carried out during all occasions of celebration celebration be it sadness or be it sad sadness or be it joy so this actually means like canonic music is like a music like rock, hip-hop, you know those? This is an Indian um, music. It's Carnatic music and it's so nice to hear. And Bharatanatyam dance goes with Carnatic music. You can learn to sing Carnatic music too. And Bharatanatyam dance is a very, 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 very big dance. Like there's so many like there's a beginners, 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 and there's advanced, 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 advanced. And like it's so deep, you know, can't really know when to stop because even my Bhartanatic teacher is still learning some stuff. Like it's so nice to see them dance. So they go slow and then they go fast. Like da -da 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 -da. and hearing the music go with the dance, it's even funner to be with it. So also one more thing, folk music. Folk music is like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's so nice. It's just so nice to hear. And farming, I don't think everyone likes farming, but if you get into it, it's actually fun. If you know how to do it and you feel it. For me, me, my dad has a farm. My mom and dad, my dad's mom and dad have a farm. They have cows, they have chickens, they have um, 
bananas. I love the bananas. They also have uh, melons. They're really nice to eat the coconut, eat the coconut inside and drink the water. It's a pleasure. And all of these vibrant and colorful and energetic are with inspiring thoughts and about social is issues are carried out in occasions of celebrations. So be it sad or be it joy. They're all in it together and we've been it together because we're in it together. That's what my place is about. If we're in it together, we win it together or we lose it together. And I wanted to talk about a temple. A temple is mostly near to what is churches, but they have the gods like Krishna, and they have gods like Ganesha, and they have gods like Saraswati, and there's much more like Lakshmi, Anuman, Durga. There's so much more. And they have another one, Muga, too. And so, also, the temple is called the Tanjur Temple. I think you might have heard of it, but it's so awesome, I would like for you to know about the temple. This temple was built by Tamil King Raja Raja Chola and was completed in 1010 AD. The temple turned 1,000 years old in 2010. Ah, the land of temples. India is home to some of the most attractive, attractive, historic, and architectural amazing temples in the world. Often a really interesting topic for researchers when it comes to building method and heights accomplished in ancient times as compared to technology process accomplished in building mountains to monument building and monuments today. So what I'm trying to tell you here is like topics for really important and interesting ideas are usually from temples because the builders from ancient times have given ideas throughout the century. We builders and um, engineering engineers have gotten more into how the architecture of temples are going into. And when they're going into it, researchers often come across these topics and they spend years on it to get the right amount of information to the engineers who build more beautiful high temples like really if you come here you have to see some temples like, there's a temple nearby the house i live in today there's a temple everywhere you turn there is a small small or big temple here's another one this one is like really nice but I was also saying people are more into the method of building the temples because when you're building it's not about how accomplished or how beautiful it is it's the method you're using for builders today they still say the method I use is mostly important because blah 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 but usually, most people think that the method is not hard to use because it's ancient. And the ancient is very long ago. And once you get to the 20th century, you should know how it all came up. But the method is really wrong because no, the method is really hard to use because there's different kinds of ways of doing the method. There's like a hundreds of ways doing the method or there's a million billion ways of doing the method. There's not really one method to do one temple because there is a hundred temples throughout India and they all have a 
different method. So you really don't know how to use a method when you're building templates. And here, height is a really, 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 really good compound while you're building temples. The Tanjur temple is like really, really big. After I tell you a little bit about more about the Tanjur temple, I'll tell you how big the Tanjur temple really is. The huge stone was Mani in the tangled Naya built Padnam right before the entrance of Lord Shiva's main tree. It's big and massive, measuring about 90 feet long and 12 feet high. Period. See, I'm telling you 19 feet long and 12 feet high. So, Lord Shiva is another, it's um, the dad of Ganesha and the dad of Murga. Parvati is the mom of Ganesha and Murga. And eight and one half feet wide, made of granite stone, and is unchanged, made from a single block of hard stone. That really says how it is. But to be really sure, it is 44.7 acres. That answers the question, how big the Tanju Temple is. 44.7 acres. The temple now stands among fortified walls that were added after the 16th century, built out of granite and Vinama Tower above the sands, the temple of one of the tallest in South India. Plus, did you know? The temple has no shadows. Scientists are still learning about why the temple has a no shadow. If I go to the other temples, I see a shadow, but this temple is very unique. So in conclusion, wait, are we at the conclusion yet? Silly me, I'm just joking. Here's another question that my friend asked. What kind of dresses do people wear in Tamil Nadu? Here's some costumes and dresses that men of this state put on. They put on a dhoti or a lungi, which is like a skirt for boys, and with a shirt and a gustra. Women wear old, women wear new saris, and younger girls wear half saris, which is a skirt and a blouse with a dupatta and a drop around. So that's a lot to digest today. And in conclusion, I have some really amazing stuff in the comments. India is home to some of the most attra attractive, historic, and architectural amazing temples in the world. The Tanjur Temple was built by Tamil King Raja Raja Chola and was completed 1010 AD. The temple turned a thousand years old in 2010 and 44.7 acres is the big is how big the temple is. The temple now stands among four fort filed walls that were added after the 16th century. The temple and history of Tamil Nadu is often a really interesting topic for researchers when it comes to Tamil Nadu. So that is the end of my essay, but I would like to say thanks to my friends who asked this question, making me wonder, making me wonder how to answer them. And so I did a little bit gathering up research and helped them answer it. Thank you for watching Sunjana in Wonderland. Be back to be back to come back. Subscribe, turn on those like buttons, and turn on those notification bells. Bye.